Hey viewers, welcome back to the new series of Python. So in this video, we will be dealing with the real steps of Python. We know in the previous video, we have just talked about how to install Python interpreter and PyCharm as the IDE. So in order to manage with the Python, first we have to just get into the IDE. But in this video, we won't be using the IDE that is PyCharm. Instead, we will be using a prompt that is the terminal. So let's get into the terminal first. So here you can just move on to the menu and choose a terminal in order to write the code. So as you just entered into the prompt or the terminal, here comes we just need to think about why we just need to write the code. We know we are living in a world where everything is done with the computer. Like uh, we have to just instruct the computer what to do, like setting off the alarm, just playing a game or sending an email or there are many more steps that we can just do with the help of computer where you don't need to do it by yourself. So in order to manage all these things, um, actually we just need to know the coding uh, or the importance of coding. We know the humans only know the pure English language, but the computer doesn't know the pure English language. The computer only knows the machine level language or that is written in zeros and one. But it is difficult for the humans to understand. So in this case, we just need an a mediator which is known as the interpreter. So the interpreter will act as a, a mediator between the humans and computer and this would just exchange the information. So in this case, uh, we would consider the source code that is the uh, codes that is written in um, a specific language that can be a mixture of English and a mixture of some syntax or some grammat grammatic uh, things that is included to uh, do some mathematical functions or to solve uh, some complex task and all. So that will be converted into the machine level language with the support of this interpreter. And likewise, the machine level language will give a signal if we just write something wrong or with an invalid syntax and all, the machine could not read that and that would give a, a, like a syntax error or invalid message error over there. So we can just get into the uh, prompt or the terminal in order to write the code. So as you just get into the prompt here, let's try to uh, just give the instruction. We know there are many tools in order to just get uh, the things that that do that we want, like the chat GPT, Gemini, uh, Siri, um, Bixby and all. So we know all these are doing the instruction as per uh, the human voice or human commands and all. But we have to train these tools in order to give the result as per the instructions that we are giving. So let me say our, my computer had to just calculate 3 plus 5 and let's try to get the result. 3 plus 5 and this would give a command not found. This is because we have used the interpreter over here. So first we have to just give the uh, computer an instruction to use this terminal as the uh, IDE. So I have to just give the uh, command like Python 3 so that my system will understand that. Now I'm using this terminal as the interpreter. Now if using this interpreter, we can just do many more stuffs that we are dealing in the Python because we have just in such a way. So we can just begin with some uh, mathematic operations that we are usually doing in the Python. So there are different um, mathematical operations or arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and many more. So uh, let's begin with the addition. So I want to just add uh, two steps. Uh, let me consider uh, two uh, digits that is 3 plus 6 and I will get a result of 9 over here and the other mathematical operation or the arithmetic operation is like I want to just do subtraction with uh, Python. So I will just go with 9 minus 6 and this would give a result of um, a 3 over here and we can just do the divisions or the multiplication and now let me go with the multiplication that is 8 into 9 would give a result of 72 and now let's move on to the division, I just want to get the results of division over here. So when I just uh, divide 9, uh, divide by 3, I would get the result of 3.0. So as you just compare the previous results and all here, you can see that we just got the result um, in an int integer format. So we have just um, like different formats in the Python, like integer, float, uh, and all. So here, when you just do the um, 
operation as division, you just got the result in uh, float. So float is always represented in like uh, with a point uh, with the next number and all. So in this case, I just don't need to get the result in a floating representation. I just need to get the result in integer representation. So here you can just go uh, like nine double hyphen three just would give a result uh, with an integer. So here you can see that this uh, result is known as a float division or integer division. Now we can also just manage uh, the strings or we can just play with strings in Python. So uh, we know um, the combination of characters is known as strings that can be um, with an example like uh, YouTube is an example for string cybros is, is an example of string technologies is an example of string so there are many examples for string and we know it's a combination of character and that is uh, known as strings so here we can just consider this uh, string like uh, cybros so the main peculiarity of a string is that in order to identify a string, we have to use single chords or double chords. So uh, the main thing is that the number of chords that you are giving, single chord or double chord that you are giving on the LHS should be equal to the RHS. Then only that can be considered as a string. So if you are not maintaining the, maintaining the proper number of single chords in the LHS and RHS, that would give an invalid present in your system. Now let's consider uh, the string that is side roses. Let me consider the string. I just use the single chords over here, like side roses, and uh, let's click on enter. And we just got a result over here, um, side roses with single chords. Now I only just need to just get uh, side roses as the string. I just want to just neglect the chords that I have given over here. So let me introduce a new functions that we use in the Python which is print. So print function is basically an inbuilt function that would give the result that we want. So let me use the print function over here. And we want to just print cybroses only excluding the chords that we have just given. So let me use the print function to get the result that I want. And you can just click on enter. So if I just give like this, like uh, the print with a single chord and double chord over here, I will get an invalid error over here because um, something is missing over here. But if I'm using like print with, you can see that I'm going to give uh, the same um, chord in the LHS and RHS side. You can see the result over here. We will get the string that is Cyprus as a result over here. Now we can also uh, just manage with the concatenation of this. So concat concatenation is nothing but that is just the addition of string. So if you want to just play with the concatenation, you can just click on print and uh, you can just give the chord over here, uh, which is uh, cybroses. So I'm just going to give it as cybroses. Then in order to concatenate, you can just use the class symbol over here and you can uh, just give the other word that is technologies and let me use technologies over here and let's close this um, drag, I mean uh, close this word or the string and you can just put the bracket and just click on enter and you can see that we have just concatenated the string like Cybrosis technologies. Now we have many more things that can be done with the strings over here. Now. So here we have some other real steps with these strings. So we can just multiply, multiply the strings like uh, you, if you want to just multiply the string side roses 10 times, you can do that. So let me uh, use the function print and here you can just set the count that you just want to multiply. So let's use 10 as the uh, mul multiplication count and you can just go with uh, the multiplication symbol and you can just use the string. So here we just go with the string side roses and let me just close the string uh, and yeah, just close the bracket and click on enter and you will get the result over here. So here you can see that we have just got the result like printing of the uh, string cybroses 10 times over here. But it's very difficult to read cybroses like because the result is in a one line and all. So in order to get this line by line, we can just use a uh, escape sequence um, in order to print it in the new line, which is backward slash n. 
So if you want to just uh, do that, you can just use a command over here and let's give a backslash n and you can see the result over here. Now we have just print the side process in line by uh, line over here. Now we can also print uh, data uh, with some other commands and all. So let me print like I just want to print like uh, c colon slash doc slash neptune so let's check the result right now over here so here you can see that something is missing over here actually we want to print c colon slash dog slash neptune over here but the system is taken as c, uh, c colon uh, slash dog and neptune this is because we know um escape sequence is something that is a command that is used in the computer so here we are not getting the raw data. So if you want to just get the raw data, we can just use an R inferent of the um, code that we have given in this command. So let me just go with R in front of uh, this code and I just want to get the raw data and let's click on enter and we will get uh, the uh, exact result of the raw data that we want. Now we can also just go with uh, some other uh, strings and let's see how that works over here. Now I just want to uh, print uh, like Jerry's tutorial over here. So let me just go with print and let's use uh, the um, string over here as uh, Jerina's tutorial and I'll be going with tutorial over here and let's click on enter and let's see the result. So here we have just received uh, an invalid syntax over here. This is because you can see here uh, an additional caught over here. So if uh, the caught on the LHS and uh, RHS or if we just uh, given any additional number of codes in between the command, this would give a result of invalid syntax. So here we can just tackle this situation by using uh, the double quotes uh, for this string and giving this uh, single quotes for this S. So you can just use this command and now let me change the codes that we have just given for this. So we know a single code or double code can be used for the identification of a string. So here, let me change uh, that over here. And now let's click on enter. And you can see that we have just code the results like Jerina's tutorial. Now if I just want to give uh, the tutorials in single code. So you can also do that. So for that, here let's uh, choose the codes of like use the same command over here and you can just put uh, the tutorial in a single code so here you can just provide it and you can see the result that we will be getting the result as per our instruction apart from this we have a little more automatic operations that we want to just steal in our video so let's go with uh, the um, using of combinations of uh, operators over here. So let me just go with like uh, eight plus, uh, yeah, six minus over here. So this would give a uh, syntax error, like invalid syntax. So if you're just using the operators over here, you have to just give it in a proper way. Otherwise you will get the invalid syntax or error over here. Now you can also just go with the combinations of uh, of uh, the operations over here like let me choose it as 3 uh, plus 2 into 5 and this would give a result of 30 so as per uh, this we can get two results like 3 plus 2 is just 5 and 5 into 5 is 25 so if you want to just get the result in such a format you have to use the board mask rule so board mask rule is basically nothing but this would uh, give the priority for brackets then uh, that will consider the orders then it can be give the other priority as multiplication or division and later on for addition or subtraction so let me use uh, the same command and give the uh, brackets for this command so let's go with the um, brackets and see how the calculation works so you can just uh, use a bracket for three plus uh, two now let's close the bracket and give the multiplication symbol and 
um, use the other digit which is 5 and you will get the result as 25. Now apart from this we have other operations in the arithmetic like using of the exponents and all. So the exponents are nothing but uh, making the calculations uh, with powers. So you can just go with like 2 into 2 into 2 would give a result of 8. eight. So uh, using multiple times uh, this makes the calculation very hectic and all. So you can just use the um, exponents over here. So let me uh, use the exponents like um, 2 double hash trick 3 would give a result of 8. So um, this makes the calculations more simpler and if you want to just deal with the exponents in your system use the double hash trick symbol. Now the last operation that we want to deal is uh, the modulus operation. So in case of a modulus operation that will get the result um, as the reminder. So uh, let's uh, use the modulus operation over here which is 10. In order to manage with the modulus operation we have to use the percentage symbol and uh, here uh, let me just go with the percentage symbol then click on uh, use the other digit that is 3 and click on enter and you can see that the reminder will be considered as the answer over here. So here uh, we know we have just um, just went with many operations that we are dealing in the Python and we have many more things to discuss in the Python. So I hope uh, this video will work and if you have any doubts um, regarding this video, please uh, give the comments and thank you for watching the video.